Hey guys, what is up? VHD Tutor here. I'm gonna do a tutorial today on uh, the uh, categories here, all the things on the right, and what you can do with them. So I'm just gonna open up a new map. Um, and uh, one guy, uh, Lego Man, I think his name was, he requested a tutorial for a Half Life SUV. Doesn't move, it just kind of sits there, you know? So you have all these prefabs. They are prefabs that uh, you can put into ha the hammer and you can pretty much directly copy well you can directly copy things from the prefabs and the prefabs are like objects like couches and the retinal scanners and crates and it's, uh, it's really good helpful. So um I downloaded Half-Life Vehicles Prefab Pack, which uh, I'll include a link to in the description. But basically, you just select what you want, you hit Insert Original Prefab, and bam, it pops up. And there's, um, that's a Half-Life SUV right there. Tell you what. And that's all you have to do, really. I mean, you can scale it if you want. some scaling although it's it's not good to scale these things and um this thing has vehicles pack has all the uh the vehicles in it m1a1 the uh apc1 and the apc2 and of course, we have Subway Train, the classic. Uh, we have the Cargo Train, classic as well. Um, the Flatbed Train, and you've seen the SUV. Oh, this one's classic. This is classic. This is a good one. And, um,. There was one I made, Half-Life Replicas. I made a, a copy of the doors that you see in the game. And um, the primitives are just your average block, wedge, cylinder, spike, arch. Computers. And it shows you which way it faces. So if you want it to face to the right, which is east, can computer east. And these were used in the... Uh, used all throughout Half-Life, but you see them in the uh, beginning when you first enter the research facility. It's in the uh, that room where all the scientists are working right behind the uh, front desk there. Random objects. Oh, there's random objects in here. You got um, wooden shelves, modern shelves, couch, armchair, old desk, trash can, plant pot large, wet floor sign, electronics cart, one's pretty classic too. Uh, and you have your uh, vending machines. Usable objects. You know, you got the medic kits and stuff. And the recharger. Pretty uh, useful. Cause, and they are the actual things. They are entities. And uh, recharger and suit charger. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, because everyone uses those. Uh, supply ladder, and you know, retinal scanner. And uh, you can make your own prefabs too, which is uh cool. So let me um, let me make something real quick. Uh, See, they already have crates, so I'll make, um, huh, but it, it doesn't matter what you make, really, it, anything works. If I make a shape here, or something, alright. Uh, yeah, 
That's another thing. You have to watch out because if you try to make an object without switching it back to block, you're going to have a bad time. So let's make a um let's make a T. That's what we'll do. Bam, we got a T now. Say you want to save that for later, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna select them. I might want to make it a funk wall. I don't know. That depends if you're gonna be using it as a world brush or as like a detail. And if you make anything details, make them funk walls like couches, stuff like that. Make them a funk wall. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to tools, create prefab, and you name it letter T. Letter T. And you can put it in any category you want. So let's just put it in random objects. Now that we have a letter T, you know, it's you never know when you might use it. The letter T. You know? And it's gravity and shit. But hey, you might even make some stairs, right? Maybe. I don't know. Just use your imagination. And you can also create, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. You can create your own categories and stuff. You go prefab factory and you can add a library. Library. New library. Hee <laughs> hee. H. And then you can add stuff from other maps or uh, exported prefabs, which if you want, you can export things. So if we go to the prefab factory, go to old stuff, and actually half life vehicles. If guy wants the SUV, we can export it. We can save it as a dot map, SUV dot map. And now it's exported. So we'll open this, look for SUV dot map, half life, and this is what we come up with. But um. I will uh, upload the vehicle's pack itself because this is just an actual map file. It's not the prefab. So yeah, those are prefabs and uh, really cool. It has all your default crates and stuff. Pushables and what have you. I mean, it's not really, this wasn't really a tutorial. It was more of a uh, informative lesson. I guess that's what a tutorial is. But you learned prefabs. Isn't that cool? All right. Uh, one thing you're also going to want to do is know how to install the prefabs. And it's really easy. I uh, downloaded the Half-Life Vehicles again so I can show you guys how to install it. I'll link right to the website instead of upload like I said. Snarkpit.net has so many prefabs for Half-Life. It's good stuff. And uh I'll show you how to install it. So I have already downloaded it and extracted it to anywhere, but you could extract it to the directory I'm about to tell you if you want to. Basically you copy this OL file, that's if it's a prefab library. And you go to your Valve Hammer editor folder, go into prefabs you basically you copy and paste it in here I don't need to copy it because I already have it but that's all that is and now say you downloaded another one and it comes with all these dot map files all you do is open the dot map files and there is your prefab it's that easy and this one has uh, RMF with it so download 198 yeah, it does that. Don't you know? I don't know why. But now we got this. It's just an RMF map, and it has all these vehicles. You know, it's a really cool. Prefabs are awesome. Yeah, you don't have to install these ones. You just open it in Hammer. Some cool vehicles in here. And uh. 
See you guys later.